Okay, so I just want to talk to you for a minute today about why Fender's bias specification for the Fender Hot Rod Series amps, saying that you want a bias to 60 millivolts per tube, why that's kind of bullshit. And this also is the same thing for everywhere in the internet forums when you have somebody looking for a bias specification, you know, how many millivolts for such and such an amp do I want to look for when biasing it? And you can't really look at it that way, and this is why. Um, I'll try to put this up so you can see it. So we'll flip this off standby. So this amp is showing 60 millivolts. It'll sort of settle out there the longer that this is on. But you'll have to trust me, it's right around 60 millivolts. Flip that back off. I think I have a bad preamp tube there that needs to be swapped out. That's the reason for the crackling. But anyway, um, I went through and I did the bias calculation. Got my primary resistances, got my voltage drop across the transformer primary, and got my plate currents. So these are the actual operated values after biasing to the 60 millivolts. And you'll notice that the pl actual plate current um, that I'm doing is uh, almost 25 here and almost 27 here. Plate voltage is 505, and we're running 124 uh, wall volts right now, 24, 124 AC volts out of the wall, um, but we're getting 505 volts on our plates. Um, the calculated dissipation then is 12 and a half watts and 13.38 watts for each of these tubes. If you look up the spec sheet for these tubes, these are tubestore.com, their preferred series, 6L6 GCs, which they say are the same uh, tubes as the tube amp doctor 6L6 GC STR tubes. Um, and you'll see in the spec sheet that they're rated for 30 watts. So, doing the calculation, we find out that uh, we're running about 42 and almost 45%. Uh, we're under 50% bias. But how can that be if the specific specification is to set it for 60 millivolts? Well, there's no possible way that you can compensate for all the variable of factors um, between transformer windings, uh, both in your power transformer, what it's going to output, uh, your output transformer, um, you know, what the primary and secondaries are going to be, the actual total of windings, and even your power supply components. Um, I mean, each of these capacitors, you know, they're within 20% a lot of times is the allowable spec. Uh, resistors, diodes that are in there, they're not always necessary, necessarily performing exactly to specification. All those small little variances and in the tubes themselves, they set up a situation where biasing to 60 millivolts could mean uh, absolutely anything. You could be running, uh, you know, 40% on your actual total final bias for your wattage output. Um, or you could be running 100%, you could be running 150%. 60 millivolts is not a good specification to follow for biasing an amp. Now, the caveat to this can be that certain amps, especially Fender amps, can sound good with a slightly colder bias. Um, you know, it'll allow them to uh, maybe compress a little bit more and sort of um, even out the mid-range a little bit more with your top and your low end, but finding that sweet spot is a matter of adjusting to taste after you get it in an acceptable range. And in my opinion, um, you know, running them at 44%, it really doesn't sound good. It, when you, once you start getting up to 50, 60%, you'll find that the amp uh, sounds a little, little bit better. Um, oftentimes, in that 50 some odd percent range, I, I find is pretty good for these amps, but you have to adjust to taste. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so what I ended up doing was um, going up a little bit higher, so I um, took the millivolt reading at a couple of different higher points uh, and got my voltage drop, so this one's at uh, 75 milliamps and 81 by the fender test point there. Um, so at 75 milliamps, we ended up running about 15, 15 to 16 watts dissipation, which is about 50%, and at 81 milliamps, um, with everything, we ended up running uh, right around 17. So we're between 56 and 58%. So um, 
that's sort of where I'm going to leave this. I'll try it out there and that gives me an idea. I can adjust it up and down a little bit um, just using the uh, the board test point there for millivolts because I know um, between 75 and 81 that's going to put me in that 50 some odd percent range and uh, we'll see if it needs to go higher because it's not sounding right. Um, you know I may end up doing another calculation or two but I think that should get me pretty close. Okay so this is the amp. Um, volume on just above two, clean channel at uh, 81 milliamps. These amps really need to be biased a little bit hotter than what they are, because unless you start getting up towards 60%, um, it's just way too cold, in my opinion. So, there you go.